truly remarkable man whose story will be an inspiration to every Indian in every town and village. A man who began as the son of a humble village vendor and became an immensely successful entrepreneur. A man who founded USV Limited, one of India's leading pharma companies. Today, this family is honoring his memory through a book on his life, Beyond Pipes and Dreams, written by his granddaughter, Lena. Not many have seen Lena work on the book over the past seven years, or witnessed her trials and tribulations as an author. So I invite Prashant, her husband, who has seen it all, to share his experience. Good evening, a very warm welcome. welcome to all of you. It gives me such a pleasure to introduce Lena to you. Like all successful women, and there are many of you in this audience, she is very passionate about what she believes in, what she wants to do, and she follows through to make sure that whatever she chooses to do gets done. When she started and decided to write a biography about her grandfather, about seven years ago, I was not really very surprised. And I had a ringside view, sitting at home, watching this whole journey. The culmination of that marathon journey that she took seven years ago has come to completion. I'm really happy that you're here to join her in the happiness of this moment. Thank you very much. I'd like to call Vilas to please say a few words. When the author, my mother, first told me that she was writing a biography of her grandfather, I didn't quite appreciate how daunting a task this would be. Few authors would choose to write an extensive biography as their first published work. And yet, over the last seven years, I've watched my mother tackle this challenge head on with unwavering resolve. The end result, from research to execution to design, is a reflection of her passion for her family. Today, we launched a small piece of our history, and we're deeply grateful to all of those here who made this moment possible, and to all of you here to share the moment with us. Thank you. Our next speaker is the author of Beyond Pipes and Dreams herself. It all started with a wish to have some historical background of USB's founder, V.B. Gandhi, Vithal Gandhi. At the time, I had no clue that this would unravel into such a long journey. While the primary research on Vithal Gandhi yielded all of four to five pages, I had this nagging intuition that digging further would be worthwhile. Along the way, I stumbled on anecdotes which tickled and thrilled. And most refreshing to me was Vithal Gandhi's fascination for the pipe, a habit that he acquired at Columbia University, which gave me the genesis for a title. Pipe smokers are said to be dreamers as well, but Vithal Gandhi's life was far beyond the pipe dream. Hence the title, Beyond Pipes and Dream. I hope you will read about his adventures and his achievements with relish and with an occasional chuckle. I believe that men like him are like a Basera pearl, timelessly admired and eternally rare. More than a century later, I am glad I discovered him. And I thank all of you from my heart for joining me in my celebration of his existence. Thank you. Uh, Nita, may I ask you to please say a few words to the gathering? It's an honor for me to inaugurate the book Beyond Pipes and Dreams. This book is Lena's way of being a proud inheritor of a rich legacy that talks about her grandfather. When Lena mentioned that she's keen to get the story of her grandfather written by a biographer, we at the forum insisted that Lena write it herself. We felt that only a doting granddaughter like Lena can do justice to a life 
such as this, live to the fullest. Today, we stand here as a hard work over seven years culminates in the form of this enchanting book. Congratulations, Lina. We are all so proud of you. Here is wishing you and the book a great success. At the end of this event, I just basically want to thank on behalf of mom and our family some people who were instrumental to organizing the event and also just to the whole process of bringing this book to life. Um, first, our chief guest, Neeta Aunty, for taking time out of her busy schedule to be with us and uh, for her inspiring words to mom. Uh, second, her forum members and friends, Pushi and Sudhir, for all the research and all the time we spent on this book. Amit, Heman, Swati, my cousins and our family, who have so lovingly <laughs> put in so much effort into being here today. And finally, everyone here for sharing this special occasion with us. I know it means a lot to mom, it means a lot to our family. And uh, yeah, I hope you go ahead and read it and learn about the life of Vital Gandhi, which mom was so eager to share with everybody. Thank you very much for coming. Good night and God bless you all.